welcome back to my channel, Sharon Cullen Art. I was on my way out to the studio getting things ready to take out there so that I could do a video and I ran out of gas. So I'm doing it here in my living room and um, I just got Diesel riled up here so he's going to um, start whining I'm sure. But I wanted to show you a few things that I just got and a little bit of progress that I'm having with my Inktober trial. Let me get rid of this key. I see I have my key ready to go out there too and I just didn't didn't get her done. So anyway, what I am going to show you are some things that I bought today um, or I got today. I ordered them, I don't know, last week sometime. The first thing, everybody probably has owned one of these and I never have. I never saw the need. And then I had a thought the other day, you know, I use pill vials, the big pill vials for my water containers, and they work just fine, but sometimes they're top heavy and can be tippy. So I decided to get one of those fiber Faber-Castell collapsible cups. They come in all sorts of colors. This is one of my favorite colors, green and red. Um, I love all color, but anyway, the bottom is hard, the top is hard, and the center is squishy so it collapses and the nice thing about this is when it collapses you've got all that space probably mm, almost an inch of depth there that I can put water in and I can leave it collapsed if I want to and have a very shallow cup when I'm out and about um, <coughs> excuse me uh, um, so another thing that I got that I've been wanting to try that somebody turned me on to were these pens for sketching and you no know, they're Japanese pens and they uh, come in different colors all sorts of colors they're Muji M-U-J-I and they're just a ballpoint simple ballpoint pen they're more of a fine to medium fine tip oh 0 0.5 is what I got 0 0.5 and you can get them in different, excuse my nails, they look bad. Um, you can get them in different um, thicknesses. But I just wanted to try 0 0.5 first. And you can't just buy one pen. I had to get a whole pack of like 12. So they will be going everywhere and I'll be losing them along the way, I'm sure. Then the next thing I got, I had ordered a ways back. I had ordered some Etcher Perfect Sketchbooks, the white canvas ones, and they're more inexpensive. I'm not sure why, if it's the cover that makes them less expensive or what, but then uh, somebody was using the the real expensive one, uh, which is also 100% cotton. They both are. This one's 300 GSM, and um, I got the 11 by 8 or if you're in Europe, 29 by 21 centimeters, or I suppose anywhere else but the U.S. because we're still on standard uh, format. But anyway, um, so I got three of the perfect sketchbooks. They come packaged with, they first they're packaged in plastic over their, their dark sleeve with the little catches on them. So it, I thought, okay, well, it'll come out. And I thought, oh, it's white again. I didn't want white. And then I opened it up and realized that it comes in another envelope. So um, I'm going to open this envelope. And this falls open to a bunch of silica to keep it dry. And then it is also packaged in plastic again. Um, but I've always, oops, I'm so sorry. I've always liked the bigger books. So I decided to go ahead and buy the bigger books. And after I'm done with my Inktober book and my other Pentalic sketchbook, which, shh, stop it, go lay down. Go lay down. See, you can say hi to everybody if you want to. You want to say hi? Hmm? Okay, go lay down now. I'll be done in a minute. I will be done and we will play red ball, okay? We will play red ball. <laughs> now I've got it bent. Whoops. There we go. I think I'm in. Okay. So I um, thought once I'm done with my other sketchbook, I don't know how much I have left of it. Diesel, go lay down. 
I'm done opening. That's what it is. It's this. There. See? Plastic's all done. You can't have that. Um, I wanted to feel the pages here. Go lay down. Thank you. That's a good boy. I'm sorry. I tapped him on the nose and it flipped him out. They're pages. These are cold pressed, but the pages are still pretty smooth considering they're not as, they're not as, um, coarse as some of the other books I've had. In fact, right now I'm working out of a Strathmore book. Um, doing my Inktober, and yes, I started Inktober early. That's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about that again, and then I got another product I can't wait to show you. But um, I've been doing. At first, I started to practice things in my just my gray book, and I was doing like gnarly trees and stuff like that, playing with my Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils, and that's what I did that. And well, first I did it in pen, and then I went over it with watercolor pencil. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did this one, too. Um, and then I have another one that I did a practice drawing on, and I'm not going to show you because it goes with my Inktober. And I'm going to redo it for my Inktober book. But right now I am using this book, this Strathmore book, for Inktober. And <laughs> I decided to do that because when I do my Inktober sketches, I always have pages left over and in like in a regular sketchbook. So I thought, well, I'll use this one, but it only has 20 pages. So what I've been doing, um, I will show you my day one and two. These are my day one and twos that I've gotten done already. Um, just doing some warm-up sketching. I'm doing them in ink, and then I used a little colored pencil. Um, I think I was using polychromos. No, 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 no. I know what it was. It was Colorace, Colorace pen pencils. I love those pencils. And then I've done day three, four, and five. I'm going to show you five because I'm so proud of it. Remember I told you I wanted to work on people, and I didn't want to... Um, uh, do any any of the prompts. I just wanted to do like people in landscapes and that sort of thing. I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. There we go. Um, then I could work on something that I really need to work on. That's the whole point of Inktober. And some of you did not know what Inktober is. I will post a link in the description. I did in my last video as well. If you don't know what Inktober is, you can go to inktober.com and it'll give you the rules and how it works. Basically, all you do is challenge yourself. It's a self-challenge that you challenge yourself to sketch daily for 31 days. If that's too much, you can do what he calls the, uh, um, I forget what he calls the uh, twice a week one. But anyway, I maybe he calls that the marathon. And then he calls the other one, if you want to only do once a week, then you can do a 5K. That's <laughs> what he calls it. But he encourages you to do as much sketching as you can and to do it in ink. You can use pencil first, but go over it in ink if you'd like. But you have to use ink for Inktober. This is not a watercolor challenge, although I always add some sort of color to my sketches. In fact, I did a landscape yesterday and it turned out just fine. Um, but then today I was putting color in the one that I did for day five. And I looked back at day four and I thought, eh, I'm going to add a little color. But I will show you what I did for day five. Just a quick peek. Now you guys can pause this and take a quick peek. But that's what I did for day five. So um, I'm working on my people. But I wanted to show you before I did that, I grabbed, I, what I did was I Googled uh, people and took images of people. And there were crowds, some on subway, some at, you know, outdoor gatherings, all sorts of different things. And I just grabbed a few and I started drawing. And this first one that I drew, I was actually pretty proud of myself that I did it, although I can't find it. Where the heck is it? Let me find it. Must be before this page. This is in my um, Luchterm. How do you say that? Luchterm? I, I forget how you say that. But anyway, this one did not turn out very well at all. I did not like the way that turned out. But I was so proud of this one. 
and um, it's got a lot of detail like on the chair and everything, but it was a quick sketch. I did it in five minutes at most. So I'm just challenging myself to do quick sketches and it is helping. And I've been going through my book, um, <coughs> reading the book, uh, this one, The Urban Sketching Handbook, Drawing Expressive People. I'm going through this and looking at it and reading it and it's helping me quite a bit. So I got those three etcher sketchbooks and I will say though, they are not cheap. To get three was like, it was 159 bucks or something like that. It was ridiculous. Although I got big ones. Can't wait to start it. Um, I really just cannot wait. So <laughs> it might happen before I get that pentallic one finished. But I think I only have a few pages left on that. And I can get that finished, you know, within the maybe the next month or so. I don't know. I, I could do it in a few days. But I just don't know how much time I'll have. Because right now it is September 30th, I believe. Or is it October 1st already? Oops, my, my watch is on my water lock. Okay. Uh, oh, it is the 30th. So, um, yeah, I, Inktober starts tomorrow, and I'm on day, I'm going to be starting day six after this video. And I may try to sketch it. It's just difficult for me to sketch in here because I can't get an overhead view of my sketching like I can in my studio, <coughs> but the walking has just been really difficult for me. And that brings me to Inktober. Um, actually, I can't wait to show you this. Let's get to this next because I haven't opened it yet, and I really want to open it. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I decided to get refillable Micron pens. I buy Micron pens, and I have a buttload of them and I love my microns and uh, like yesterday one of my sketches I did in three values of micron. I did light gray, medium gray, and then black in my landscape and it worked out really well and I loved it but I got these Rotring pens. You can buy the pens fairly inexpensively but then you got to buy the ink to go with them. You can't use regular fountain pen ink because fountain pen ink, um, oh, it comes in a nice case too, hard plastic case. Um, you can't use regular ink like, like uh, Platinum Carbon or Noodlers or Diatramentus or any of those inks because fountain pen ink is thinner so that it runs through the nib fluidly. And the, this ink is thicker if you put that ink into one of these micron pens, you'll have a puddle everywhere and it'll ruin your work. So now to get this open, it looks like you have to pull up because there's these little two nubbies here. So I have to pull up and out. And when I pull that, it takes the lid off. But check this out. It's got measurements, guides, lines, straight edge, all of that right there for you. Pretty cool. And then here is the pen itself. Now I'm going to go ahead over to my kitchen table to put the ink in this and I want to do it over, I don't want to do it over my new rug. So um, we'll go over and do that. But when I, I, I'll do that in just a minute. But what I want to do right now is tell you a little more about Inktober, what my plans are. I was speaking to Sarah Burns. Uh, many of you watch her. Uh, she's in Scotland. She's a uh, U.S. citizen um, from Colorado. I think the Denver area, but I'm not sure. She moved to Scotland and married there, and she lives there now, and it's absolutely beautiful. And most of you know that I am Scottish, and my husband has some Irish in him. I am mostly Scottish heritage, and uh, so my dream is to go over to Scotland, and I'm supposed to go next summer, which is part of the reason I need to get this back surgery done now. Uh, so that I can go. My concern is, though, leaving my dog. I got to find somebody who will take care of him 
because I, I can't kennel him. He's got an anxiety issue, and I'm afraid it'll give him a heart attack. But anyway, the plans... Ugh, FedEx truck. Just a minute, there might be more to open. No, I'm not gonna... I don't think this is art supplies, honey. It says it's for pet also, so I'm not sure why. Oh, out of breath. Darn it, you guys, my lungs. I was on antibiotics. It didn't work this time, which means I've become resistant to that antibiotic. No, you lay down. It's all done. So anyway, <coughs> back to what I was telling you. Uh, Sarah Burns, uh, we are... She has some prompts out. They're not prompts. They are a series of weeks. Things to do. That's my doorbell. My driveway doorbell. Could you try again? Siri, shut up. God, I hate that. I swear she spies on me. My you-know-who from Amazon, the A-L-E-X-A, -E does not do that like this girl does. She's constantly interrupting me. I swear they're watching me. <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, the prompts. They're not prompts. They're weeks. Her first week she has set as a warm-up. In fact, let me grab my iPad, and I've got it all down there. I'm going to insert a picture, too, so that you can um, copy them or whatever. You can also go to her Instagram account. I'm going to lean back because it's easier for me. You can go to her Instagram account, and um, she has it posted there too. But I put it in my Zinnia app. Week one is to play and experiment with different things and just kind of get used to your... Um, used to your... Uh, tools that you're going to be using, your supplies. Week two is nature, drawing trees, plants, terrain, mountains, rocks, water, anything from nature. It could be a flower. Um, week three is structures, architecture, urban sketching, ruins, monuments, etc. Week four is people, <laughs> figure drawing, portraits, characters, I'm really lacking there, and she said she is as well, but she's a beautiful artist, so I'm sure she won't have any trouble. Week five is animals, everything in the animal kingdom, maybe aliens too, she said. So um, that's how she's got it set up. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to follow that structurally because I am in a predicament right now, and um, so... I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Although I did play for the first couple of days. Now day five, I did work on people, so which I showed you quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm going to continue playing for the next couple of sketches. And then I'm going to go back to nature. And those seven will be very easy for me to do. And then I'm going to work on more urban sketching stuff and architecture. I'm not sure how much I'll get out. I might be able to get out in a car. Once I'm in a car seat, the curve on my back is usually okay and I can sit for a bit, but I have a problem with sitting for any length of time in one position or laying in one position or standing or whatever. I have to keep changing, so um, that's a problem. But then, you know, people, of course, are going to be a challenge. And I don't know that I'm going to be working on portraits. I don't. I've done portraits, and I can show you that I've done portraits. Those of you who've just started to follow me, um, I started to do the um, 30 Faces 30 Days that uh, Sketchy has on their website. It's S-K-C-H-Y. Um, and they are very into portraits. They don't do any landscape type stuff or anything. But this was one of the first ones that was on the list to do. He had a very strange expression. And I actually captured it pretty well. I was really happy with it and the shirt and everything. Um, they don't teach you how to do it. You've just got to do it. It's just a challenge. And then another day... I did this one, and I liked how hers turned out. She was kind of giving the side eye and 
going like this. So um, that's how I caught her. And again, I liked how the shirt came out. And I actually did pretty good on her face and her hair. So I was happy about that. But I didn't do all 30 days because I don't enjoy doing portraits. Maybe that'll change. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I did those in watercolor. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. But anyway, if you want to do the challenge with us, I'm going to try to follow Sarah Burns' uh, weeks and see if I can follow those. Uh, and if you do, she asks that you um, post your work on Instagram and tag her. So uh, I think it's October 2021 SB. I'll post it here so that you can see it. But um, if you tag your work with that, then they will go to her so she can see it as well. I'd also like you to just do a tag Sharon Cullen Art so that they come to me and I can see them. And, um, you, you know, when you're writing tags, you do a bunch anyway, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But uh, she's really excited to have some of my subscribers doing um, Inktober along with her week and pooling our people together. So I think it'll be really cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to put the ink in these pens. It's not hard, but we'll go over to the kitchen table and we can do it. Oops. I'm waiting on a, oh, what is the thing called? Oh, I forget what it's called. Um, not a gambling. Oh, shoot. Anyway, it's something I ordered that will give me stability on my, on my um, work, on my camera work, and then it will also um, be better for filming, I think. We'll see. I'm, I'm just waiting on that to arrive. But let me go ahead and pull this tablecloth back, get some paper toweling, and we're going to go ahead and do the ink. Okay. Um, I've got these pads that go over the wood of my table, so um, that will help to protect any issues that should arise. I'm just going to kind of double this over a little bit, put this over here, and we will see how this goes. I'm really excited to, to use these, and they came just in time for Inktober. There's a lot of extra stuff in here that was unnecessary. They give you a pencil, um, which is a .5, and that's nice. At least it's not .7, which is the standard. Um, a protractor, which I might use, I don't know. And then <clears throat> they give you .5 lead. They give you an eraser, which is nice. And then I get three ink pens, and each one of these... Uh, is a different size. This is the 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2. So the way you take them apart is you unscrew this, take it off, and this can come off. It's supposed to unscrew, but if you have trouble, you can use the back of your pen this back, it's actually the inside of the pen. You can go like this and then use that to unscrew. You screw it in like this and then you can unscrew the bottom. You have more to hold on to, which makes it easier to hold. But now this is where the ink goes and it goes in there pretty easily. Just take the ink and you fill it up. It doesn't take much. It's probably plenty. I did not fill it to the top. I'm going to put the lid on this so I don't get ink everywhere. And then I'm going to screw this back onto the back of this. Or does it just push on? No, it screws on, I think. Nope, it doesn't. It just pushes on. And then I'm going to unscrew it from here. Put it back on here. They say that you need to shake it a couple times to get the ink to come down the nib, 
which is really difficult to see. I don't know if I can get it to focus here, but you see that little white tip? My hands are so dry, my goodness. There, you can see the white tip. It'll be black when I'm done. So, anyway, let me shake it a little bit. I guess I need some paper, silly me. Let me go grab some paper. Maybe I'll do my Inktober sketch, but then if I post it, it's day six, and um, that won't work, so. They come in larger sizes, smaller sizes. I just wanted the set the first time, so I paid for the set. But I may get another pen that's bigger. But 0.5, I don't normally go bigger than a 0.5 anyway. It's just that this is Rotring, and I've never used a Rotring pen before. So they're different. I use my Microns from Staedtler or from um, Uni, Uni, whatever. And so I go by their sizing. And I'm not sure if these sizes are equivalent or what. <coughs> I would suggest if you're out in the field with a pen like this that you take your ink with you just in case you need to do a refill. Um, one of the big reasons I wanted these pens is because they're refillable and I don't want to um, keep throwing stuff in landfills every time my, pink, my pen runs out of ink. So that's why I am using these instead. There are other brands out there. I have not tried them. These seem to be the most popular one, which is why I went with that. <coughs> so anyway, they're very easy to fill. Now let's show you the different line widths. See if I can zoom in here without it being blurry. 0 0.2. Nice thin lines. Do some cross hatching. Oh, I'm gonna like this one. I really, oh, these are so smooth. Oh my goodness, I like it. Okay, then the point three, there may not be much difference. I have heard that um, going up another size really helps, but we'll try the point three and see. Oh no, there's a difference. The person who said that must not have had a good pen. So you can see a little bit of a difference there. The line's definitely darker. I'm not pressing any harder. I'm pressing very lightly. I don't want to ruin the nibs. These do seem to fit on the back of the pen. You got to push down though. Oh, maybe they don't. Yeah, they do. If you push down, they fit on. So I'm sorry, my hands are so shaky. Then, <coughs> The last one is a 0 0.5 at Darn Woodpecker. I'm about ready to go out there and scream at him. Put holes in my cedar siding. Okay, and here's the 0 0.5. Definitely a lot larger. I hope you can see over my hand. Let me switch over here. A lot larger line. I'm getting a bit of skipping when I lay it on its side, which is fine with me because when I lay it on its side, I like to, if I'm using the same pen, I like to press very lightly and get a lighter line. But there you go. This is the smoothest, the smoothest pen. Oh my goodness. I love it. There's that one. Point three and the point two.
and that's it. Now I'll show you real quick the other supplies if you're interested in seeing them. The thickness of a 0 0.5 lead, and this is HB, which is my favorite to use, either 2H or HB. The reason I like to use hard um, lead is because, did they load any in? Yeah. Because um, when you're using watercolor, you don't get a lot of smearing. The harder the lead, the less smearing you get. And I tend to touch my hand to the paper and rest my hand on the paper. And I guess a good graphite artist must not do that because um, I smear a lot. So this is a nice nice thickness of lead. I like it. It's still thick enough that it doesn't break too easily, yet it is thin enough that you don't have huge lines on your paper. If you can see that, I just did that. Um, so that is it, you guys. My next video, I'm hoping, will be a drawing video. Well, I did lines today, but my next one will be an Inktober sketch. In fact, I may just go ahead and do it right now so that I can get it out to you very soon. In fact, maybe I'll do it tomorrow for day one of Inktober. It'll just be my day six sketch, that's all. And then I'll post my day one over on Instagram instead of the one I'm doing the video on. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Why don't I do that? Anyway, um, yeah, remember, be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. And most of all, be kind to each other. God bless you. Take care. Thank you for the continued prayers. And I will see you soon.